How's everybody doing today? It's a good day. You know, it's Monday. Fun day, you know, the 26th of February. But yeah, man, um, I want to talk. Uh, please like and subscribe, man. Cordley Boxing in the house. Man, hope y'all have a wonderful day today, man. Make today count, man. Even though it's a Monday, make it count. So like I was saying, man, um, I got breaking news, man. This is, man, this is one of my favorite fighters, man. I'm and I'm kind of, I'm kind of hyped that he he just signed the top rank, yo. So the breaking news is, man, that Alter Better Beef have just signed with Top Rank. You know what I'm saying? I think they're gonna push him, and I think and I think Top Rank finally has something for Sergey the Crusher Kovalev, dude. Uh, you know, Alter Better Beef right now is the IBF is the uh, IBF um, light world IBF world lightweight heavyweight champion of the world. He's he just signed with top top rank. Um, he said he's gonna be fighting three times a year, and it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome, man. So I can't wait to see what this guy does, man. He's been idle for the last, you know, what I'm saying he's fought like twice in the last, you know, year or two, and it's just, you know, in the last two years he's only fought like one or two times, you know, it's just. And one of those times he won the belt from a uh, guy, guy Colleen or whatever. Nobody really gave him respect for that fight. He, a lot of guys been ducking him. You know, he beat Sergey Kovalev in the uh, in the amateurs. You know, and that's been stated. You know what I'm saying? And um, Ultra Better Be man, he's up there with like he's up there, he's up there, man. He's got a he's got a he's got a wonderful pedigree. Um, I'm. Pretty sure he fought out of the Russian, the Russian amateur ranks. So uh, that's definitely good ranks to come out of. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's he's ripped to the core. I mean, he's a big 175 pounder, man. He gets in there and he makes these other 175 pounders look small, man. I think he can make a push for cruiserweight. I think he did fight a little bit in cruiserweight. I'm not sure because I seen. I'm pretty sure I seen him and Yuzik fight. But I'm not sure exactly where they fought, if it was in the amateurs or what, but I've seen somewhere where him and Yuzik fought. I'm not sure who won that fight neither, because I'm real big on Yuzik too. If you uh if you've uh, followed me lately, um, you know, in the past, you know, in the past on other shows like uh Ringside Reporter, I was highly about Yuzik and stuff like that. I just started this channel, so I didn't really do too many videos about Yuzik. But um but yeah, man, Ultra Better be, man. He sound with top rank. I mean, how does this shake up the light heavyweight division, man? I think it shakes it up, dude. I think he's right there in the mix, man. I think he's going to be the... I think he's... I, me, personally, right now, I think he's the best super... I think he's the best... Um, I think right now he's the best light heavyweight. You know what I'm saying? I honestly I honestly think that. You know what I'm saying? I know you have... I know you have Bivol. I know you have Kovalev. You've got uh, you've got um, Sullivan Barrera. You got Joe Smith. You got you know. I think he beats all of those guys, man. I honestly do, man. I'm that high on this guy, man. I honestly do. I think he beats all of those guys. And I don't think it's and I don't and I don't think I think he does it, man. I think he does it decisively. Um, you know, I don't think he's been able to. I don't think I don't think Archer Better Beef has been able to, you know, show his talents off. So you so you say, you know. And um, I think I think the best the best is yet to come. I think he's about thirty three now, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, but yeah, man. Um, man. Yeah. So he's pretty much hasn't fought since. Since last November, so like I said, man, it's been it's been a long time coming, you know. And um, fights fights are gonna be on there. Bob Arum, um, you know, signed him, and like I said, man, it's gonna be he's gonna be put in. You know, what I mean, he could possibly put him in with uh, Gilberto Ramirez, but you know, what I'm saying I doubt it. That's one way class under, but I doubt that he do does he that that he does that, but. You know, like I said, man, 
it's a real it's a real big it's a real big step in the right direction for ultra better beef man um i think top rank has a pretty good stable um i, I think he's willing to work with anybody you know and i and i mean he did pretty good when he was without him and he got paid pretty good but you know he only fought once or twice a year without him without without him that's not enough to build somebody that's not enough to build a fighter's career you need to fight a minimum of three times a year for a guy with only 12 fights he's a He's a, he's a, he's a, um, he's a IBF light heavyweight champion that had only a 12 fights. That's, you know, 12 KOs. So ev- nobody's went the distance with, uh, with Ultra Better Beef, man. And I honestly think he's the one, man. I think, I think he's a, I think he, I, to me, I think he's, I think he's the, the dark horse in the division, man. I honestly do. I honestly, 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 honestly do. You know? I honestly do. I honestly do, man. I think he's the beast. I think he can actually make this division fun again, man. You know? And I think this is... I think, to be honest with you, a lot of guys forgot about Archer Better Be because he hasn't been active. But he is the IBF champion. They do have to respect him. And like I said, man, let's see where it goes from here, man. Let's just, I'm just, I'm curious to see where it goes from here, man. But, um, but yeah, man, let me know your thoughts. Please like and subscribe. It's Corley Box, signing out.